Hi there trailer owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at Hydrostar's line of hydraulic brake line kits. If your trailer currently has hydraulic brakes or if you're going to go with the adventure of taking your trailer and converting it from electric brakes to electric over hydraulic, this is going to be a great kit for your trailer. We've got a lot of different options for the size. You can get them in either 15 or 25 foot lengths and they're available in single, tandem, or triple axle kits that comes with everything you need to get those installed. All of these components are gonna be heavy duty upgraded components. The steel lines are gonna have thicker walls than your standard hydraulic brake line. And our flexible lines are also of a very high quality durable grade. All of these need to be heavy duty because when you go from an electric system to an electric over hydraulic, when switching to disc brakes, you need a much higher pressure applied to the brakes in order for them to stop. We're using a 1600 PSI actuator from Hydrostar to deliver that pressure. If you had a hydraulic drum brake system, those don't require as much pressure and you can get away with lower operating systems such as like a 1200 PSI uh, actuator from Hydrostar. But again, with these discs, we need that higher pressure. So we wanna make sure we've got a heavy duty line kit that's gonna be capable of accepting those pressures. All of our lines and hoses are gonna have a double flare fitting, which is gonna give us proper sealing for such extreme pressures. All of our fittings here are gonna be constructed of a brass to ensure that they are corrosion free. This is also a softer material that allows it to seal up when tightened down. On our particular trailer here, we just recently installed the triple axle kit. We're gonna talk about what you're gonna receive in the various kits. All of the kits are gonna receive a main line that comes in. This is what's gonna go from your actuator at the front and goes to your first axle here at the back. From this point, this is where your kits do vary slightly. If you've got a single axle kit, what you would have here at the back would be a three-way fitting. This one here is a four-way, so let's shoot back one axle and we'll show you what a three-way looks like. And on your single kits, your main line would go in to the center or just to one of these, and then you essentially would connect your hydraulic hose to one. You'd have a line to shoot across to the other side and a union that would connect to your brake hoses. The single kits are gonna come with two brake hoses because you only have one axle, one for each side. For our tandem kits, it's going to, the story's gonna be the same at the beginning. We're gonna have that main line coming in, whether it's 25 or 15 foot. And with the tandem kits, it's gonna to go to a four-way that looks similar to this here. It's where it goes in. You're gonna have a cross line that's gonna be a little bit longer than the shortest line. So it's gonna be the medium line that comes in the kit. That's gonna allow you to go across and then you'll receive two short lines that will go from your front axle to the rear axle, one for each side. You'll get four brake hoses to go from your four-way to your caliper. If we shoot over to the other side, your cross line would come in one. It would go to a three-way, which would give you your connection point for your hose, and then you would have another short line that would go back to your rear axle. On the rear axle for your tandem axle kits, both of them will connect to a union and then go to a flexible brake hose that goes to your rear axle. Now, regardless of the kits, the size of your lines are basically gonna be the same. Our main again is gonna be 25 or 15. Our cross line, if you have one of the kits, gonna be six foot. And if you have lines that go from one axle to the other, those are gonna be four and a half foot in length. Also included with your kit, you're gonna receive some hardware to help you get the lines routed. You'll receive some small plastic clamps with self-tapping screws so you can run these into cross beams and down the frame as you're routing your lines. It's important that those are secure because if they have too much flex, if you've got a bunch of bouncing going on, it will eventually break the, uh, the metal line. If you've ever had a spoon invented back and forth, eventually it breaks. It can be similar if you're bending metal that, uh, steel that way. You also receive some larger clamps for your flexible hoses to go around those to hold those in place. And that just helps to prevent movement in the small solid metal section right here where it's out. We want the movement to happen on the flexible portion. And that completes our look at Hydrostar's line of hydraulic brake line kits.